Hello, mic check. Okay, so, okay. I can take my glasses off. Okay. Okay, hey, my name's Chad Case. Welcome to our not award-winning video about Christmas items you can get for your photo nerd. So the first item on the list here are graduated filters. And graduated filters can add a lot organically, meaning it's gonna happen through the lens, okay? So you don't do it in Photoshop, you just put this thing in front of the lens. This is a three-stop split neutral density filter. This is a Galen Rowell version. You can buy lots of them, ranging from 30 to 60, 80 bucks, right? Uh, the way you use these things is typically you would have a filter holder that screws into the front of your lens, get a Koken P or a Koken A filter holder that will screw onto the front of the lens, and you can slide these down in. You can also, if you want to not deal with that and you're not having a tripod, you can just simply take these and put them in front of your lens, and you slide this up and down the lens, even in a filter holder, until you get the desired effect. Um, okay, so that's graduated filters. Next thing to do is I use all the time and have in my bag, and is a great filter for all kinds of uses is the circular polarizer. This rotates around like this and it works best 90 degrees to the sun. So if the sun's directly behind you or directly in front of you, this will not work. But 90 degrees to the sun, sun's overhead over here, it's gonna really saturate the colors. It's gonna take down all the glare like you're shooting those nice waterfall colors in, in, uh, in Oregon and you have all that green stuff all that green foliage. If you put this on there, it cuts down all the glare off it, gives more green to that foliage. So it's a great one to have for your photo nerd. And you can buy these anywhere ranging from, I would say $30 to $300 or $400. So back up. And the way these things work, which I'm sure your photo nerd will know, is they just screw right on the front of your lens. So you need to know your photo nerd's lens millimeter, 72 millimeter, 62 millimeter, things like that, okay? We all take a lot of photos, and as a photographer, we wanna take as many photos as we like and not to worry about any kind of hard drive space. So, I recommend external hard drives for use with your workflow. I think this one is a, um, is a Western Digital. Uh, it's got four terabytes. The other nice thing about this type of hard drive is it's bus powered, meaning that you don't have to plug this into any power source. So the computer powers this, so for your loved one that wants to travel on the road or plug into your laptop, you're not dealing with cords and things like that. Okay, I'm getting the bags. I'm cutting. I'm resetting. Move the poinsettias. It's a nice touch. I'm gonna lose my antlers. I'm gonna lose my antlers. There's all kinds of different bags out there. I was just getting online, checking them out. Locally, Ido Camera has a great selection of bags um, to really see what you want or what they might need. There are these little like fanny pack bags. There are full-on backpack bags like this that also have places to store your laptop like this. Laptop, backpack. And all of these are gonna come with configurable different spaces like this for lenses, cameras, whatever you wanna do, okay? And along those lines, if you are out and you're gonna be out for a long day, you might also consider packing other things in your backpack, there go the antlers. Cut, I can't do this. However, you can put other things in your camera bag. So if you need hydration during your long ski trip or backpacking trip, don't hesitate to put these nice drinks right in these lens holders and just leave a couple lenses behind. It's about the same amount of weight. So these are all gonna be ranging in price for what you can do, right? For a bigger ticket item, you can get this little rad guy. Um, the current version of this, it's called the Canon G9, G9X. And that version costs, and this one, it, it, right around $400. So 399 you can get into this. So it's, it's a little bit more of an expensive point and shoot, but for a photo enthusiast, this little camera is so cool. And I always have it in my pocket. And as a photographer for family events, it's easy to pull in, pull out. It shoots raw. It shoots video at uh, 60 frames a second and it's a 24 millimeter to 120 millimeter lens. And it just does great results for such a tiny little camera. Did I say photo enthusiast? For a photo enthusiast, you can do a lot with, the, um, with this camera. It shoots in manual, um, so much fun to have just at parties and stuff like that. Really powerful little camera to have just in your pocket for everyday hanging out. Uh, next week, we will be posting another little piece, one minute piece, two minute piece on how to take the best pictures at Christmas parties and things like that. 
and we'll talk about techniques to use this kind of camera and do some really fun stuff. And we'll actually have some examples of those in there and I'll talk about how to actually do it. Waterproof, beer proof. Mm. It's hard to drink with his nose. <laughs> <laughs>